forever. Dog. When I have a demon in my life, or maybe just a small gripe, something doesn't seem right until I confront them and they make nice. The world is full of snakes and whores. Get through. Confronting demons, with, confronting demons with Megan Stalter, or or Meg Stal. Sometimes I go by Meg. <laughs> um, I'm not doing really good today because I took a COVID test. I wouldn't, don't have any signs of it, but I was trying to go to a nightclub, um, so I had to get a test. But uh, anyway, I'm going to sing a song. Of course, Nick is asleep right now, so he can't interrupt me. Here I go. Hope it. Hope the song doesn't wake him up. And by the way, people stop asking me to sing more on the podcast. I do one song in the beginning. And if you keep asking me to do some more songs, I'm going to stop doing the podcast altogether. And for the record, stop asking for the real talks to come back. They're not coming back. Here I go. Here's the song. Oh, the song is, by the way, the song is about sex, which I don't normally sing songs about sex. So I'm actually really excited. And by the way, I had my first orgasm a couple months ago. From my husband, who again refuses to quarantine with me, but he, he, so he did this thing where he was texting me to put my phone in between my legs. You got me feeling things. You got me curling my toes. Girl, you got me feeling from head to toe. You're my sex. My intuition. And by the way, we're not allowed to play background music. Emma told me, and that's why. So stop inboxing me, asking me why my main songs in the beginning don't have music in the background. Our producer Emma and our producer Tracy told me I wasn't allowed to have music. It's a, it, you have to pay for it. You got me feeling from my head to my toes. You got, you are my sex, my intuition. I would reverse Kaga you into a new position. Do, 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 do. Bisexual energy. And by the way, Nick didn't want me to sing this. I'm dancing with you. You're dancing with me. Bisexual energy. Will I marry a he, she, or they? I walk into the grocery store. Everybody wants me on aisle four. Kiss my neck. <laughs> Make me scream. Wait right there. Oh, yeah, I need more beans. I'm everyone's little sex doll. By the window, uh, by the way, the window's open in my room. Everyone's toy. Let's go to the mall. I'm wa- a walking or shut your window if you don't want me to sing. I'm a walking orgasm straight from heaven. Don't, 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 don't call my name. And this is where a lot of people come in. Say my name. Ariana Grande does this part. I don't play games. If you don't want me, that's okay. I've never met anyone who didn't want to do, do devour me. I haven't met anyone who doesn't want to bow down like I'm the queen. I'm Marilyn Monroe reincarnated. I'm Picasso remade. And that's kind of the end of that. Hello, everybody. Welcome to <laughs> Confronting Demons with... Whoa, Meg- whoa. Did you... What? Oh, my God. Did you already start? If you mm. keep passing out right before the podcast, I can't keep... I'm sorry. Out. It was after tea time. After t- you know how I get tired I get after tea time. I told you to stop but doing did tea you, time. Hey, uh, did you, you didn't... Have you sung your... I told you to stop doing tea time. Okay, I like to have a tea time by my... I, I told you, just because you're not invited it anymore doesn't mean I can't do it. Um, do you didn't do that. Shouldn't, no, no, tea time should, tea time should, shouldn't be five hour nap after. Mm-hmm. Most people aren't do, uh, eating catnip with their tea, by the way. Well, in France, they in France that's what they do generally. They is eat that catnip they, in France. Yeah, they in eat France. catnip in France. They do. I thought that was for cats. No, I meant the just the the nap part. They don't eat catnip. And also, you shouldn't be drinking sleepy time tea at noon. Okay, well, sleepy time tea is perfect for right before you take a nap. Mm, yeah, and you shouldn't be having day naps. Take a nap. hmm? All you you well, shouldn't be having day naps. In, that's what they do in France. 
So you're going to miss another shift at the hospital today then. You know you're missing another shift at the hospital because of this. You were literally okay, supposed to be you, there. I I told you I'm not going to do your I'm not going to do your magic act for sick children at the hospital anymore because you you and awake they think not? it's me. Yeah. You and awake they think it's me. I'm not good at magic. Bud. They never that none of them ever think that it's a magic trick. They always know that we're two different people. When I walk through the one, when I when you, I walk you out the one door and you walk in the other door. You don't want to be in show business. You don't want to be in show business, do you? This is what it is. You wanted to be in the podcast. You want you got my manager to sign you, and all of a sudden, now it's time to actually show up to the shows, do the sick hospital magic tricks. And what are you doing? I want to have sleepy time tea again. <laughs> Anyway, welcome to, oh, well, great. I don't even have my notes in front of me. So this is what I have to say. Welcome to Boop Bop Boop Bop. I don't remember any of my lines. You, people don't know this, but this whole podcast is scripted. And if you distract me, I don't know what my lines are. Here, I can't find it. Okay, find it. Hello, welcome to Confronting Demons with Megan Salter intro, dash intro. Um, this, is a po- this is a podcast about confronting, I'm Megan Salter. And this is a podcast about confronting somebody in your life that has been a real stinky guy, somebody who's been mean, rotten to the core, and then it gives them a chance to say sorry to me, to mend bridges. We've had people on here, just a a few people, Adam Sandler, my ex. um, We've had so many different people that we have confronted. Hello. Um, But today we wanted to do a sort of a special, and who's we, by the way? Me and my brother, Nick, we wanted to do a special uh, podcast episode where we don't have a guest. Um, we wanted to mm. talk about some of the projects. Oh, Nick, don't talk yet. We wanted mm. to <laughs> talk. About some- Nick, don't talk yet. Uh, we wanted to talk about some of the pro- upcoming projects. I usually don't know what Nick's doing besides working at the hospital. But um, and, and because because you you had a Broadway show that you. You're not I went to anymore, a Broadway but, um- show. Yeah, it was when they were showing Hamilton on Disney Plus. Mm hmm. Yeah, I watched crickets. I- <laughs> um, well, not crickets about the show, just crickets about <laughs> you didn't really have anything else to say after that. Um, but uh, I just am so excited to hear kind of your upcoming projects because, like, we've talked mm-hmm. and I've had so many um, things I've been wanting to do, and I'm going to talk about them now. Um, but you just, you, whenever I ask you what roles mm-hmm. you have, and you're just kind of like, you know, mm-hmm. I'm currently playing a role um, of the uh, sort playing of a r- role in Thanksgiving about a role. What'd you say? Mm-hmm. No, I'm not playing. You're gonna I'm make not. a buttered roll for Thanksgiving for mom? No, I'm not, I wasn't gonna make a. I was. It wasn't like about a buttered roll or anything. Yeah, I was meaning I was sort of. Um, it was more about acting. Oh, okay. What did you say you were gonna play a role in? Um, I'm sort of playing a role of life, and that's where you live your life as. I don't remember casting for that. <laughs> was that? It's uh, sort of I've been taking um, acting classes and they say that you should play at your life as if your life were a role. And Is so that's that something I, they offered at the hospital after you did your magic show, like a free class. Yeah. Dr. David does a class for the also does a class for the sick kids. Dr. David. Dr. Okay. David does a class for the sick kids and he says yeah. they need to live their lives as if their lives were a role. I don't know if that's an acting state. class. It sounds like you stayed for a motivational speech sort of thing. I don't know. It could have been anything. I just actually just woken up from it. I just came back from sleepy time tea. Oh, oh, sorry. So the, it could have um, been anything. Sorry, the girls are walking in. Hey, girls, mm-hmm. you're a little bit late. Hi, we're so sorry. We had to get your coffee. So, uh, so, so, so sorry. Uh, Nick, these are the interns. These are the, mm-hmm. there's new interns. Yeah, what, what do they drive? A two, two-person pedal bike or something? How are they? Yeah. Are they? Do. They're, yeah. Just, do. they're sweating so much. We are. We do have a condition. As we are twins, we share a lot of the same conditions. We have a, mm. a sweating. A Can you sweating guys get condition. the the cream in the bag? I, I feel like you're getting comfortable just sort of waltzing oh, no, in. So, we're so sorry, we're, Nick. Here's your here's your black coffee, and Megan, here's your raw rat's milk you asked for. Nope. But it's, sh- 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 I don't want you to. You don't need to announce the. Mm. Oh, what did you? We just wanted to make sure we, we got your raw rat's milk for you. And you, you wanted it Stop saying that raw. You did want it lukewarm. You said specifically for us to tell. Just hand, just the, hand it to me. Oh. Okay. Here you go. No, here you go. It's yeah. fine. It, it's fine. Is there anything else? We know you wanted to, us to, uh, you know, clean the studio. We know we're, we're so excited because it's, 
it's well so- if you knew that why is there so much dirt on yeah. my desk <laughs> there's a lot of dirt on the desk we did and- forget the desk. We forgot the desk. Mm. We forgot That's the crazy. desk. crazy. Um, because, you know, there's only about three things in this room. Nick, there's about, there's about you're yelling at them. This, well, I sort of thought this was the relationship between hosts and um, interns. Was You're not their like boss, this. honey. I'm the one that has been asking them things. Mm. Oh, can you give me coffee? I guess throw in something black for Nick. The black, yeah. the no. That's, sh- I was wondering about like that, sh- too, because I don't drink black, black coffee. But you seem was- like a kind of guy that doesn't like something sweet. Mm-hmm. Well, I do. Um, not, not that I like anything sweet, but I do. I'm more of a tea man myself. Um, Megan told I, us specifically black coffee, okay. no cream, cold I like this. Water. I've never heard anyone talk to him like that. I like that attitude. Hmm. Yeah, Nick, we just want to make sure that you realize that Megan is paying us and that we don't have uh-huh. to respect you in any way. And we yeah, won't. Yeah, I mean. Megan's paying you guys? Because I haven't seen a, a, de- a dime out of this. Well, I'm not paying you. I'm, hmm. You're not an intern. Okay. Guess what? Breaking up with your old wireless provider just got a lot easier thanks to Mint Mobile. Mint Mobile is introducing their unlimited data plan for just 30 bucks a month. Let that sink in, guys. Come on, let it sink in. An unlimited plan for 30 bucks a month. How much is your soon-to-be ex wireless provider charging you? Probably for $57,000. For people that hate their phone bill and are ready to cut ties with big wireless, Mint Mobile offers their premium unlimited plan for just 30 bucks a month. By going online only and eliminating the traditional cost of retail, Mint Mobile passes significant savings on to you. All plans come with unlimited talk and text, plus high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. And you can use your phone with any Mint Mobile and keep your old number and your contacts. Thank God. And if you're not 100% satisfied, Mint Mobile has you covered where there's seven day money back guarantee. So break up with your big wireless and switch to Mint Mobile's premium unlimited plan for 30 bucks a month. To get your new unlimited wireless plan for just 30 bucks a month and get the plan shipped to your door for free, go to mintmobile.com slash Megan Stalter. That's mintmobile.com slash Megan Stalter. That's me. <laughs> Cut your unlimited wireless bill to 30 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash Megan Salter. Fall is in the air. And fall to me is not just about jumping in a pile of leaves and casting spells on my enemies in the spirit of Halloween. It's also a great time to reflect and work through your feelings. Listen, I'm there too. It's been a year. And so if you're looking for some professional help in the process, why not try our friend BetterHelp? Oh, you just know BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist that you can start communicating with in a flash. That's because BetterHelp is professional counseling done securely online. Plus, if you're looking for a special therapist with a special skill set, well, oh, buddy, they have it. They have so many therapists on that thing. You can't even wrap your gorgeous head around how many they might have. And it doesn't matter where you are. (laughs) They got this thing around the globe. You can talk to your therapist over video or phone. However you like to chat, it's up to you. BetterHelp is all about facilitating great therapeutic matches. So they make it easy and free to change counselors if needed. Don't even sweat it, dude. So visit BetterHelp.com slash Megan Stalter. That's better H-E-L-P and join the over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. In fact, so many people have been using better help that they are recruiting additional counselors in all 50 states. If there's a therapist out here who's looking, we're looking for you too. And of course, special offer to all my wonderful listeners. Get 10% off your first month at BetterHelp.com slash Megan Stalter. That's 10% off your first month at BetterHelp.com slash Megan Stalter. Hey, everyone. We're Mike, Scott, and Jason from Podcast The Ride. On our podcast, we discuss the world of theme parks and themed entertainment. Animatronic bears. Fake rock work. The logistics of theme park parking garages. So please check out and subscribe to Podcast The Ride only on the Forever Dog Podcast Network. New episodes every Friday. Girls, do you have the files I was asking for, by the way? I just I just need to know if you brought them or not, because like I really needed those files. I have an audition later this afternoon. 
We did. We did. did. We we, we took it upon ourselves. I mean, we know, we know that you gave us specific um, instructions for what you Mm -hmm. wanted us to do, but we felt as your new interns, we could just really add something to, you know, your career. And we actually, we tweaked the files a bit. We tweaked the files. We did tweak the files. We did tweak the files. Um, We actually did a We've kind of gone through a lot of uh, your financial um, history. We actually have been going um, through um, some recent uh, searches and some recent purchases. I don't know Nick, if you want to do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, with what's up with you. Nick? I jump in. The, I thought Nick. the interns Nick. were more of on like Nick. A call. Uh-huh. Jump in. That's do you I'm need your brother in. to talk for you? Yeah, yes, I need her, him to talk yes, to me, Taylor. Your brother to talk for Taylor and Sometimes Ellen, Taylor. two two and interns Ellen. off the street of LA. Yeah, I don't even. I didn't even know your names were Taylor, Taylor and Ellen when you walked Taylor in. Taylor and Ellen. I thought that you two were one person. I would see one of you sometimes. I'd see the other one sometimes. I thought you two were one person. You look so similar. I can't believe that God made two of you. Well, you're making and- them cry right now. Nick, don't talk to my interns like that? that, Nick. Why, why would you say that? We're two separate people, Nick. Uh huh. Okay, well, they're when carrying I two see... different helmets. You think they put two helmets on one head? Hey, I'm just here standing up for you. Hey, hey! Everyone's fighting. Look, it's... we're just here to make Wait, Megan's that... life easier, okay, <laughs> and better. better, and better. We have mm-hmm. extensive uh, education in PR, mm-hmm. marketing, assistance mm-hmm. things. Mm-hmm. We know what we're doing, and for you, I think did you guys to bring a coffee PhD and wiping any... off a table from all the? D- Wiping dust off a table? Yeah, yeah, I did, Nick. Well, these are the rowdiest interns I've ever seen. We just, everyone take a breath because it is too crazy right now in here. We have two of the rowdiest interns I have ever seen and one of the most ungrateful brothers I've ever met in my entire life. Now, everyone just, we're going to promote today. We're going to clean the office together. Nick, you can be in charge mm. of kind of leading them to do that. I, I can't could, clean stuff. My hands are are basically bleeding out because I tweeted about voting one time today. Okay, so I can't be just cleaning stuff too. What if I have to tweet again later? Which right. brings up another thing, Megan. We're not mm-hmm. so sure you should be tweeting. I, right. It seems like you do tweet um, really kind of anything that anything that you want. Well, you don't want to um, see the deleted then. We have. We've yeah. actually gone through. Are you getting We've sent actually, the deleted right to you? Yeah, yes. they actually go right to our phones and alert us. We also see all of your drafts. We see what you're working on. And frankly, we're we're kind of scared for your career. Um, well, you didn't see the one thing that I sent last night, did you? I'll post a big picture of me. Yeah, and I said, I want somebody to eat me out. You didn't see that, did you? We, I deleted it, Nick. You don't have to look at me like that. You don't even know what that means. Uh, I'm going to be honest. I didn't know what that meant, but I did follow the link for that that you've included in the description of that photo. I and for 50 it was, seconds. I'm sorry you're so obsessed with me. It was up there pretty quick, but I do ju- tend to check on things with you because I never know when you might need help. And uh, that link, guess where that took me? That took me to Megansalter.com. No, That's a big web need- photo. Okay. Photo of you and a fart noise. And I, I don't know if you made that noise in there. You, you didn't mean to put the noise in there? I can't get it off. You made MeganSalter.com. I thought that was a fan website. I was trying to put in a big explosion sound and it somehow messed up the buttons I put in. And that, for, for honesty, that's part of why I wanted to get two interns to help me mm-hmm. with stuff like this. I, that, I don't know how to get the site down. I don't know how to get the sound down. Honey, we'll get take the sound down. Honey, we'll take it down for you. But, mm-hmm. but we, mm-hmm. one more thing, one more thing. We want to bring up something. We think that we think that um, you know you could really be making more money in collaborations. Sweet, not making any money. Well, it's all about collaborations these days, babe. All right, mm. I'm collaborating yes. right now with you guys. I don't make mm. any money. Do people think I make money? Yeah, you need to be making yeah. money right now. Who you need to be making money are you right t- now. Sure, you two are are agents or two sci-fi mm. aliens because I'm looking. No interns have never usually interns go hello, yeah. goodbye. Can I get you? Yeah, you know. What else can I get you? Who else can I get to you? And um, who else? Who else can I get to you? Yeah, who else can I get to you? We're more. We we can do more. We can do so yeah. much more. Megan, yeah. we're tapped into source. Mm. Is all we're gonna say. You're yeah. tapped into source. Well, I got to be honest. I'm, 
him <laughs> to source. Okay. I gotta be honest. I'm not super impressed with the one sponsor you've already gotten for her silly bands. Cause I'm finding those little things all over the house. They've been sending buckets of them here. And, and she each one means like, some, a different them. sexual thing you did. So Nick was walking around yesterday with a lot of them on his arm. Mm-hmm. And I was like, uh, I just found them. I actually pulled all of those out of the vacuum. Took me all morning. But you're wearing them, which means you're sending a message Mm -hmm. to me, the person you live with, Mm -hmm. that you have tried cowgirl. You've tried reverse cowgirl. You've tried salad. You know, you've tried all the different things. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at the the facility band Taylor's wearing. She's wearing Mm -hmm. one. That means she's a virgin. Ellen has 45 up her arm. I don't know. Even want to know what all those mean. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I was, you know, I I actually wasn't thinking they did that. I was thinking they were just little um, small animals. I didn't know that they meant. They're obviously not. Why would it? Be, why would a bracelet not mean something? Okay. Why would a bracelet not mean that? One, I guess that might. That Someone, actually, girls, jump in. Girls, Nick. Girls. Bracelets, bracelets mean a lot. A lot. Girls, jump more in. Than Nick, think. everything means everything. Nick. Okay. Yeah, Nick. Don't. You got it. You got to keep up. Okay. You got to mm. keep up. Okay. Okay. Well, let's just. Uh, you know what? Silly bands, get them mm. out of here. Okay. Silly bands, they don't matter. You know who has contacted? You? I think we could get in trouble for saying that live on air. Yeah, you're still getting sponsored. We're, me, aren't we're you? still recording, so you you're yelling. Yeah. Get them out of here, but they are paying us to sort of put this out right mm. now. And now I think you have to say, get them in here. Something nice hey, about them. Hey, silly yeah. bands, silly get them in here. Hey, silly bands, get get in me, mm. silly bands. Oh, so Taylor, Taylor. I'm a virgin. We can't have She's interns friend. screaming. This yeah. podcast and is a family podcast. We can't say sex stuff. I can't, you know, I can't, I can't believe we've gotten this far. And I, I cannot believe we've gotten this far. And mm-hmm. these two don't even realize that we are recording. I know usually you two come in here and all the lights are turned off and no one's in here. Yeah. But. Did you see how when you came in, we were sitting down and we had microphones and, and there were video cameras. Did you see there, that? A, Video cameras posted all across. Nick, all you're around. yelling at them. Do you think they're going to be getting your l- sushi lunch if you keep yelling like that? Cancel Look, the we sushi order. We honestly, we no. honestly were just bringing you coffee, maybe giving you a few tips. Mm-hmm. We we're so sorry. We didn't, you know, we didn't mean to interject. We'll, mm-hmm. We no, are it's fine. Yeah. Listen, hey, Nick, Megan, we'll leave you be. This is not our place. Okay. okay? This is not our space. But if we can say one more thing before we go, this is huge. Megan, this is okay. Huge. Because of all your recent posts with your doggies, right? Petco has reached out and made an <laughs> offer to you. <laughs> Hey, I'm hey, having a heart trailer. attack. Breathe. Grab breathe. your trailer, honey. I can't breathe. breathe. Baby. I can't breathe. That <laughs> woman has always wanted a chinchilla. And <laughs> if they can, if the, you can make that happen with Petco, I think that Nick, would be world to her. Nick, are you yeah, reading your mind? Did you mean that they're sending me more animals? Or did no. you mean they, they, they wanted me to sort of talk <laughs> about? Or did you mean they were actually sending me more animals? N- Megan, all they want you to do is, actually, I think, Ellen, you have the, you have the information. You have the email. Oh, go, Ellen, go. I do, have go, email. I do have the email. They will send you one live chinchilla in exchange for your current animal, um, your current dog. I don't, which one? Well, Nick actually was, mm. I don't, Nick, I don't know why you're being so shy. You were CC'd okay. on this email. You said that mm. if Nick, Nick, you were CC'd on it, chinchilla, that she mm-hmm. would give up her dogs. I don't know why you're acting so. Okay. Nervous. Nick, we, you're joking my asshole. You. You have to be, because mm. if you've been CC'd on something and you didn't CC to me, then mm. I guess you want to kill. You want to kill me. Frankly, if I you are on emails be- that I'm not on, mm. then that must mean you want to wake me up in the middle of the night and chop all my limbs off, and then make and then make a little soup and feed it to yourself. To be honest, right now I'm completely and utterly, totally shocked. I didn't even know you had to log on to your email. Ever tell you that ever in a million years? Because I was thinking, first I got the email, I thought. Mm-hmm. CC, I don't CC'd, don't know what that means. And then CC's the second pizza. thing, yeah, I was thinking CC's pizza, five dollar unlimited pizza. That's a deal I would love to take. Mm-hmm. And then I was thinking, okay, I can say whatever I want here. You're delivering this news like you are the no Grim Reaper. That I feel like you are I've saying been, the story like you are have been half in the grave. I feel like I've been visited by the Grim Reaper just now because that was. A, a complete and utter betrayal of my of my trust, and I really thought I can say whatever I wanted to to these interns, and nothing would make its way back to you. No, you can't. Robin Ghost of Christmas all. Past. You can't say whatever you want. That's not how communication works. Mm-hmm. I am the person that has five hundred people on their, following her Instagram. I'm mm-hmm. the one that is the host of the show. You're the co-host. Mm-hmm. 
you're the co-host. You don't get to be mean to the interns that I, first of all, have had a sleepovers with. We are really close. And you are an outsider right now screaming at my little girls. Yeah, the Nick, ones that bought you coffee. Lane. Stay in your lane, lane Nick. Nick. Girls, girls, calm down. Yeah. Sorry, you know Nick, what? I, I think on girls, the, girls. the dog, the only I said that because I thought maybe she I was thinking maybe we could get her to give her that dog up because I'm not giving away that my dog is so no, I'm not giving that my dog, dog is away. so old. Every time I come out of the bathroom, I think there's a ghost waiting for their turn because <laughs> you know it's and when she passes, right I hope she haunts you in a scary way. She's, well, I hope when my dog passes you. away, you wake up in the middle of the night and she has somehow dressed herself as an old ghost woman. And you don't even know it's her. And guess what she's going to say? I'm not going to hunt Megan. I'm going to hunt you. Uh, so the first thing I wanted to kind of plug today, girls, jump in if you think um, it's helpful. But um, I do want to plug that I'm going to be doing a one-woman show in 2003. Uh, it's going to be actually at the men. Girls, wait for this. Well, we're, I didn't get to tell you guys this. Oh. I'm going to be doing a show in the Manhattan Brooklyn Gala and the South by Southwest Airlines. Oh! Oh! Oh, wow. I'm excited. Wow. Wow. Um, it's going to be called I'm a Woman, period. And it's going to be a lot of period stories about me kind of being a woman and kind of t- um, talking about how I haven't had a period in a long time and I'm not going to go to the doctor to see what's going on with that. Um, it's kind of <laughs> going to be like my story and how, you know, I just, it's going to be just how I bled out on my mom's boyfriend's car and sort of just period stuff. And sometimes I'm going to say things like, you get it, girls. <laughs> and everyone's okay. gonna go real oh, Ellen, you've lost interest. No, no, of course not. I, I was gonna act, ask you to be the art director yeah. on it. You've lost interest. Taylor, jump Megan, in. I mean I mean, if I can be completely honest, Megan, no, I come on. I don't know if it's what your followers need. I don't know if it's what your followers want, honey. I can't always have a big straw hat on and do a you know, Southern mom character. Sometimes I want to say real things. I'm on my period. No, I'm not. You know, I want to be able to sort of say stuff like that. I get right. that. I get you don't that. think I should <sighs> do. The thing I think so. We're I think- all. Ugh. Sorry. Go ahead, Taylor. Go yeah, go no, ahead. you go ahead. go ahead. You go ahead. We have telepathy or whatever it is, you know, we- you know, when- empathy. Yeah, we have yeah. empathy shared. Um, yeah. That's something Nick was actually born without. We have, oh, Nick. I don't know. Yeah, how. I actually, um, I have a lot of trouble understanding. What Nick, come on. Their faces. And so when someone sort of, like when someone is hurt and they might mm-hmm. see their face like that, I always look at them and I think, what are they doing? I think, why are they doing that? Are they squishing a bug or something between their cheeks? Just, I told you not to talk about and, that kind of stuff on the podcast. I don't want to. I don't want that to be our thing. Nick, you're scaring mm. me. I'm scared. You know? like, I feel unsafe. Well, I, I actually you're... that's really surprising because I have no I idea what your face what is saying that you're feeling. I feel really scared. So I couldn't around tell. Him. How do you live with I, I don't know. Some nights I start forgetting I live with him, and I get up to go to the bathroom, and he's just kind of standing in the hallway. And I start screaming, I pass out, and I have to get taken to the hospital. And then when I wake up, I see he's the first person I see. And it makes me so scared because I forget who he is for a second. Well, I'm actually, you know that I'm looking at you while you're sleeping so that I can see the way that I'm supposed to be looking while I'm sleeping. Because I'm not Yeah, sure. but can't you just take a picture? It lasts longer. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. I saw that in the movie, The Parent Trap. Mm-hmm. What do you say? <laughs> <laughs> so you don't want me to do the grounded show then? Because I, I was I just feel like I just feel like given what took place last year at the yeah. college. No, I don't want to talk about that. Record, yeah, I don't um, want to talk about that. We gotta talk about it. I don't know if we should do you really think we should though? Megan Nick. Nick's in the room. We're talking about, you know, titis and cheetahs. Megan, your first girl, is, is it girl talk time? Put cotton think, balls in I your think, ear, Nick. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Put the I'm gonna balls that we play. No, you know what? Men should hear this. I can slip under this. the desk. You're right. I can slip under the desk. Men should hear this. Men should, Men should hear this. Hey, Nick, listen up. I get to keep. I can stay for girl talk time. Yeah. Yeah, you pervert. Well, hey, fire I away, we'll girls. Let's talk about it. Girls, yeah, I don't understand why you have all this information on me. By the way, 
It's uh, public knowledge, is which is what we're finding now. You know, we we Google your name, it says the incident at the gyno, Megan Stoll. Why do you have to click on that? We're your, we need, we're your interns. We need to know everything that's out there about not you. Not on your gonna, off hours, girl. Megan, and, honey, Megan, we don't have any off care. hours. Honey, we're always on, honey. We care. Like you guys are looking for a different position than intern. You know, you bring me coffee, you sort of go, oh, I, I wanted my dream was to go, oh, God, let's go out to the mall. Let's take the day off, you know? Yeah, Megan, we're not going to be here for that for you, okay? We're going to tell you this right now. We, we need to jumpstart your career. We need to ignite it. You've been, you've been mm-hmm. slacking, you know? Your followers are dropping, you know? Okay, we, know you, we know you mm-hmm. recently just turned 30. And we know <laughs> you're afraid of... Can we get that? Uh, Emma, cut that part out. Emma, turn, why I want to turn 35, ho- older. No, honey. We're old, trying to keep you old, relevant. Keep okay. You Put in, I turned 60. No, honey. I don't think that's going to help. Honey. I don't think that's going to help. Honey, you. the younger, the better. So okay. there was the gyno incident. There was the incident uh, at the dentist's office. That where, wasn't my fault. Uh, it wasn't your fault that all of your teeth are falling out and they're raw because of oh. the raw milk you're drinking. Hey, hey. You don't have to be yelling at people when they are teeth are raw and they're drinking milk. Nobody says on the in the jar, this is going to be making your teeth fall out. Maybe it makes your well, teeth was soft. Was it your fault? Was it your fault when the when you bit the dental hygienist's hand right she off? Took, of she her put body? my she oh put her hands gosh. in my mouth. Everybody, if somebody puts my hands in my mouth, I'm then be biting. It's not. Hey, you don't talk to me like that. You don't talk. Hey, I'm here defending you. I'm here defending you. You don't talk to her like that. Yeah, she can bite sometimes, but her teeth are really soft anyways. I thought you were yelling at me. I thought you were yelling at me, so I started yelling back at you. Um, But yeah, you're not. It's not my fault. It is your fault. You told you bit her hand off and you told her to kiss your ass. And that's not okay behavior. No, you know what? If you don't want me to do something like that, why don't you go be Cameron Diaz's intern? We were. We tried. (laughs) Well, what happened there? You know, she got a little too hot and sexy for our uh, taste. Okay, well, you don't want to see me in lingerie then because you're going to be running for the hills going to Mario Lopez instead of me. This is sick to me that my two, first of all, my new best friends, my interns, are looking up little stuff on me. I don't want her to do this. Oh, God. Nobody needs to know the soft teeth story, the rotten teeth story. And somebody is going to be getting bit if they put their hand in my mouth. Nick will tell you from this morning at breakfast. Uh, don't put your what? hands in her mouth. I don't think you should put your hands in anyone's mouth. No. That just or not. I don't think you should put your hands in people's mouths. Mm-mm. But I thought that's like hot. For you, but to put but we're at a dentist's mouth? office. We're not having making love on a, someone's birthday party. We or shouldn't put our dentist. hands in each other's mouths for that either. Right. I, Nick, you stay out of my there. sex life. When I have a demon in my life, or maybe just a small gripe, something doesn't until I confront them and they make nice The world is full of snakes and whores Get through the grim that's in the world Confronting demons with Megan Confronting demons with, confronting demons with Megan Stalter Or, or Meg Stalter Sometimes I go by Meg Forever Dog This has been a Forever Dog production Confronting Demons is executive produced by Brett Boehm, Joe Cilio, and Alex Ramsey. Senior producer, Tracy Soren. Produced by Emma Foley. Original theme music by Henry Kapersky. Cover art by Sela Shaloni. For more original podcasts, please visit foreverdogpodcasts.com and subscribe to our shows on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. Keep up with the latest Forever Dog news by following us on Twitter and Instagram at Forever Dog Team and liking our page on Facebook. 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 Facebook.